Work. Okay, thank God. 
<sighs> you have no idea how much trouble I've been through with audio. It's always present. Audio problems will never go away. I swear to God. <laughs> ah, hello everybody. Uh, so today, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be playing SMZ3. Except, uh, it's gonna be me for both sprites, theoretically. The problem is, I can't figure out how to get the Super Metroid sprite in. I don't know what an RDC file is. I may just need the PNG. Uh, so... I'm working on that here. <laughs> Anybody happen to know? I'm not sure if Shinobu is here to give me the PNG. Cause I don't know what to do with an RDC file. I don't even know what an RDC. What is it? What even is an RDC? Is it like remote data container? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, send me the PNG. I'll, I want to see if I can inject that. Uh, Sprite something cannot read an RDC file. Doesn't know what that is. Supported type Z Sprite, PNG, SMC, or SFC. Doesn't support anything else. I don't know what that file type's for. <laughs> I really don't. I, I have no idea, chat. It outputs it, but why? I don't know. Yeah, I think I successfully got the link sprite. I'm not sure if Hal Callus got together with you, Shinobu, to figure out the um, up, like the north facing angle. Because based off of the previews I got from Hal Callus, it's freaking amazing. Um, but I'd always say he didn't work on that part. So. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna tell Halakalas, <laughs> you, you, you can look at it. Yeah. I, I encourage cooperation between, between everybody. Alright, let me know when you send it. I, I'm so excited I get to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna reward you guys later with a um, uh, with some super awesome stuff uh, that will be coming to the stream within the next six months, probably. <laughs> I've got I've got some stuff planned. I, I've used the last of my my stream money to work on some things. So, in addition to, I, I have drained, like, all of my savings accounts. <laughs> it, it's not a smart thing to do, but it's okay. I definitely will not lose any of my three jobs. They will definitely stay long-term, and I'll definitely still keep getting paid. I say that as Twitch has not paid me yet for March. What the hell, Twitch? You're supposed to pay me yesterday. I still have not gotten Twitch payout process. There, there's, like... $750 I'm waiting on Twitch to send to my bank account. I need it, damn it! <laughs> um, because I I got a a quote for a water softener and reverse osmosis system. Um, so that's a reverse osmosis under the sink in order to filter out any remaining sodium. And um, the whole house water softener system uh, so, everything out the door, including installation, bags of salt, it's okay. I, I can definitely provide my own bags of salt. I generate it constantly every day. Uh, um, so, it was $3,200 for the softener system. So that includes the hardware, piping, plumbing, uh, and installation. And then $600 for the reverse osmosis. So all together, out the door, uh, $3,800. Um, so at $3,800 raised in the month of April, I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 
I'll do something. Alright. Save image. This is bad. So, Discord? Uh, yeah, just $3,800, Chad. That's all I need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna have it. Oh, shoot. Fant's the best twist. Thank you. I need to add .69. Add incentive points. Whoop, there we go. Ah. I coded this specifically so I don't have to do math on stream anymore. There we go. We're actually getting very close. So the initial goal is seven hundred dollars. That's to play Chrono Cross. Then thirty-eight hundred dollars will be. Um, Fan doesn't have to cry at the next credit card bill. Open fan underscore TV dot PNG. Export inject into game file. All right, theoretically it works. So let's go do that. Yeah, we're at sixty. What the heck was that noise? We're at 63 plus points. 37 to go, chat. My floor is like chalkboard. It's really bad. Think of like the most unfinished of unfinished um, floors where like the finish has been stripped off. It's like that. I don't have rugs to cover it with yet. <laughs> Let's see. That's my save three. Downloads. All right, we'll see if this works. Should be good theoretically. So how's it going, Callus? Wait, which one did I just put in? I, I didn't delete it, shoot. SMZ3 V11.31, that's us. All right. Oh, my daily plus points are at zero out of five. I can't give you all credit for doing nothing. The startup sequence on the Super Team was designed and programmed by Phil. Ah, why did he have to tell me that and ruin it? I'll never use my Super NT again because Phil Fish is human trash. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, it works. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of SMZ3. It's been a hot minute since I've done SMZ3. And this is not just any SMZ3. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, one, I am playing as me. Hooray. In both games, theoretically if I did it correctly. As we can see with my face here, it worked for Super Metroid, and I hope, um, I hope it's all fine. Let, let's go set up my controls here, and then I won't know if Link to the Past worked until we go to Link to the Past, which is gonna be very, very early, uh, because in SMZ3, 
Link to the Past has... Okay, Super Metroid has one thing. Literally one thing you can get at the start. Two if you use the damage boost glitch. Link to the Past has like 30. So we're going to be going to Link to the Past immediately. We'll be able to see very quick if it works. Uh, but there also is a another, another surprise. Also, hello, Nicholas, over on YouTube. Woo, look at that, it's me. Hearts. I love the running animation now. Are you playing in Logic? Sometimes. Not always. Ow. Okay, let's go over. Please work. Hey! <laughs> it worked! It me. And here's the other surprise. Whoa, an alien key. The text on it says Criteria Boss. Yes, this is Key Sanity SMZ3. Surprise! That's right, I gotta get seven crystals, beat four bosses. Um, Yo! Tier zero gives me bombs. Best possible option. Coming nine hour stream? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, save and quit. So with SMZ3, if you have not played SMZ3 before, uh, there are a couple things you should know, I think. Also, heck, trackers. I'm not even bothering with the tracker. <laughs> I'm not cool enough for a tracker yet. A um, couple things you should know. Uh, one, there are four transition points between SM, Super Metroid, and Link to the Past. They're taken from useless rooms that you don't really ever go to, unless you're playing it casually. Uh, they don't, like, they're not missing any checks or anything. Uh, two, whenever you transition between worlds, uh, it saves the game. God, there's so much magic. Um, I guess a couple other things. Three. As soon as you beat one game, you don't go to the credits. Wait, is that a big key? No, that's a small key. Um, you'll just be taken out, and then you gotta just do the thing. Did I say a, a hard reset? always places you in Super Metroid. At the ship. <gasps> Screw that! Let's go. Do you see the Mahjong clip? No. Is it of me playing? I should play some more Mahjong. Salt tiles is always a good time. Yo, Halkalis. Also, Halkalis, Shinobu's totally down uh, to help with the up angle here. Figure it out. So I highly encourage you to go work with her. Because I, th I think that's it. Everything else looks good. The, the sprite outside of that is, is amazing. It's really good. Love it. Yeah, Mahjong Soul is great. It's Mahjong with big anime titties. I 
Power Bombs bottle. Small key to Ganon's Tower. And the single arrow. Uh, Mahjong Soul. It's like the gotcha of gotcha. Yeah, chat. If you can get me to like 10,000 viewers, I'll say wow. Um, I can get a custom collab with Nikkei. So you can stare at my butt while you shoot things. Damn, no money? That sucks. I'm actually gonna go get, actually no, I have flutes. I could just come back here. If I didn't have flute, I'd go grind the money right now. But because I do have flute, I can just flute back here anytime I want. a good <laughs> good start Our first heart. We got so much equipment. That was our first actual heart. I, I instinctively try to dash to get the rubies. Yeah, so Shinobu, are you ready to put in the work again for another sprite after what you did for, uh, for me? I still think my only remaining comment on the Super Metroid sprite is how the arms look during running. Kind of go, go a little too far. A little too much pump. I'm so strong. Wait, why am I going down here? <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I don't want to buff spread. I don't want to have muscles ever. <laughs> Chat, I have never had anything that you would describe as a muscular figure ever. I, I I never work out or anything. Are you kidding me? Okay, got 
got stuck. That took way too many bombs. Super. <laughs> Luckily, I have one bomb remaining, which is the amount of bombs I need. Yeah, uh, Chocolate Dave drew me buff, and uh, Caddy drew me buff. Fun fact, when I was like... eight, I thought like... guys just got like, super muscular. Just by default. And the, the mental image terrified me. Because I would like look at the mirror and picture myself as if I was muscular. And I was like, no, gross. So I could not sleep at night many times because I was like, oh no, my muscles are getting bigger. They never got bigger. Uh, but, you know. I know, Jonathan. Which is good. Hi, Aura. What were you hoping to find on this website? Don't land on me, cabbage. Heck you, cabbage. Dragon Barra Z? Sprite looks familiar. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I wonder who it could be. Hello, Moray. But Dragon Bada Z isn't even how you say ball in Japanese. It's Bodu. <laughs> Doragon. Then why is Dragon Dragon if it's it should be Doragon? Actually, I'm not even sure what the Japanese name of Dragon Ball Z is. Oh yeah, say a Jean. Cause Jean is like the generic for a person. So that's that's why Super Saiyan is SSJ. And hence why Spike's emotes are SSJ, because it's Super Saiyan Jean. Saiyan Jean, Saiyan Jean, Super Saiyan Jean. You know. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I, I literally don't know how it's spelled. <laughs> I don't know if it's a sa or a se. Yeah. I have no bombs! No! Well... Remember when I said hard reset puts me in Super Metroid? Here you go. So, Saiyajin. Saiyajin. Okay, gotcha. Woo. 
actually got the Criteria Bosky. Which means I can actually take out the Bomb Teresa. I remember the, the Katakana saw and say took me a while to get down, I remember, because the Hiragana say looks very similar to the Katakana saw. So they swapped them for whatever reason. <laughs> Easy Alcatraz, let's go. I don't have bombs. I gotta use power bombs. Heck. What the hell, tank? Mm. Yeah, we, we have power bombs. We can go down here. Only guy muscle. Where's Angel when you need him? Heart container. That would not help me. Well, now I remember it. Le legit, this is how I remember things. It's like, oh, Gi and Ki have the the thingy going that way. Saw has it going that way, and then Chi is the other one, other way. So I, I just I just know it's like Chi is the weird one. That's how I remember it. <laughs> so that's how I always know to put it that direction. Because I, I just remember, yeah, Chi's Chi the weird one. The other ones are good. Oh, yeah, I don't have a key here. Didn't want to mess with those guys at all. Those like hit for everything. Yeah, same thing with like she and Sue. Uh, Katakana she and Sue is uh, very annoying for most people. As well as So and N. Because there are four sets of very similar. Let, hang on, let, let me get these. Uh, let's get them in chat. In chat. So those of you who don't know Japanese, let's see. we got Su. Uh, I hate when this happens. Golden. There you go. There they are. So you can see why they'd be confusing. Radio team. Gotcha. Uh, 
So again, the way I remember Tsu is Tsu is like a connector. So it, it kind of like moves the sound of um, the the next syllable to the left. So it's like I'm trying to think of a good example. Uh, but like if you have like a two T sound, so uh, I, I'm bad at just coming up with words on the fly. Even though the, it's used everywhere. But if it's like. Well, let me see. I'm gonna go to the dictionary here. No. Oh yeah, here we go. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hand in mahjong. Cause we were talking about mahjong. It's a, that's like a string. Um, also one way traffic. Um, so if you have just like, but without the uh, the little tiny tsu, which is the first character, th this is the character we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Um, now, this, this it's not actually spelled this way, but I'm just using it as an example. Um, if Itsu looks like this, um, but you see there's like a little small one. So if that little small one wasn't there, it would just be Itsu. But because the small one is there, it's Itsu. It kind of like has that connection between them. It's weird. Um, you can think of like a, a double letter, like I-T-T-S-U instead of I-T-S-U, if that makes sense. But what it does is it brings the fourth syllable like back to the first one. So you can think of like those two lines and a little curve drawn forward is taken from the right and it's going to the left. So that's going to take those little quotation marks and bend them down, right? As if it's connecting the second one to the first one. It's kind of like a, an mental image of what happens if you're dragging from the right to the left. It does that to the shapes. There's a complicated way of looking at it, but I've never forgot it ever since. As where it's she, that's just she. It, it's not used like that. Um, so it's the other one. You only have to remember one, then you just remember this one's not that one, so it's the other one. And the reason I use, I know N, Is that one? Um, this one's stupid is because um, Shin goes together. It's like new. Um, so, something like this. So, it's kind of like a common word. So, I just know it by that. And then, so is the other one. <laughs> just, just, just know what the other one is, and, and, and you're good. What does the missile toggle look like? Um, I don't think it looks like anything specific. It's just all uh, all the same as everything else. Just make sure to not die. <gasps> Ow! It's actually bad. That was very bad. That dealt like a hundred damage. Power glove, worth it. Hey, Gob. Anyway, there's your Japanese. That's not really a Japanese lesson per se. That that's more of like, hey, here's some. Oh, I have screw attack. Why don't even bother killing them? Oh, gosh. 
Uh, let's actually no, I can't. I don't have enough bombs to go through there, so I'm gonna go do something else. Let's uh, let's go to Green Brinstar. We got a big pink. I might as well get that. I'm not sure which enemies have power grip bombs on their drop table, but yeah. YouTube, I never die. I never, ever die in this game, okay? <laughs> Later. Yeah, the the only uh, those are the only four characters really I have mnemonics for. Cause the other ones are that's just what it is. This is what it is. Surprise. I'm gonna see if I can get a power bomb out of these guys. I think these ones do drop power bombs. I will never die in Super Metroid. I've never. I've. I've if I die in this game, look, it looks just like me. It's an effigy of me. I die IRL. Did you drop power bombs? Thank you so much. Oh, come on! I need two. I, I just need one. One to get the item here. Then I can go up to the ship and refill. There we go! I do have to redo the mock ball though. Oh wait, no, I need two because I need to blow up the first one first. God damn it. Nah. Oh. I spoke too soon, chat. I don't think any of these guys drop power bombs. Alright, it's like a 4% drop rate. Just wait, no, we're good. It, it did drop one for me. Let's go. This better have been worth it. Lower Norfair boss key card. And the Moon Pearl. It was worth it. It was so worth it. That's as worth as it could be. By the way, Shadobu, I do I do have like one other like minor thing. This is like if you want to do it, you can it it'd just be like a fun thing. It's just like a fun idea I had. Uh, if you don't want to do it, it's fine. I'll talk about it to you later. It's like completely optional. I'm not gonna make you do any extra unnecessary work. <laughs> But I'll, I'll, after the stream, remind me, I'll tell you about it.
That jump is a lot harder than it looks. Oh yeah, I need the key card. All right. Twitch chat, YouTube has a question for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll just DM it to you. Uh, type one if we will all live to see Metroid Prime 4. I'm not so sure. Zero? Yeah. Okay, that was 200 damage. Very nice. Very nice. It's okay, I didn't die. It was merely a, a setback. The opinions are um, all over the place. Do you think the stream messed up? But do it? No, we got it. Most of my chat's on Twitch, so you're gonna have to look at the uh, the thing up there to see Twitch. Chat. But yeah, chat doesn't seem too confident in uh, Metroid Prime 4 making an appearance in our lifetime. I imagine there's no way it's going to be a Switch release at this point. I'm really bad at that. Specifically with screw attack on. All right, give me some E. Give me some E chat. Mm. Varia suit. That's good. Oh. Yeah, YouTube is like. YouTube is where all the weird people go. So, if you're on Twitch, you're pretty normal. If you're on YouTube, you're heckin' weird. That's okay. I like weird people. It's a one brain cell kitty. Yeah. Alright, Twitch chat. Type 1 if you are normal. all vile plumes. Alright, if you're not type 1, why are you on Twitch and not on YouTube with all the other weird people? Or are you saying you're not that kind of weird? Mm -hmm. 
I I think kid is making a breaking bad joke. I don't know. Oh, that's bad. There's a particular character. Uh, what's his name? You know the the guy in Breaking Bad, the bald guy, the 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 bruiser, the Mike. Him. Yeah. Bo. Oh, sorry to hear that, kid. Put that for later. I'm not doing any suitless Meridia shenanigans right now. Okay, I can get a check. It happens. I mean, it's a VTuber stream. What can you expect? I know my audience. Ooh, key card to Brinstar. That's that's really good. I can't fight Ridley. I don't have his key. I, I need his boss key card. Then I can go do it. <sighs> Razor Blair, hello. Won't go to length of the past just yet. <gasps> Sword! And high jump boots. Boy, those high jump boots got really far. We got over here. That is three hundred dollars. Some sort of medieval currency. All right, I think I can go this way. Oh, I've never heard of that joke before. French vanilla? Yeah, I would call that French vanilla. That's where the key door is. Just wanted to confirm without pulling up the menu, because the menus in this game are very slow. Also, this room is so heckin' hard <laughs> to go fast. That is one of the hardest rooms. Ah, uh, whatever, we should go this way. 
Not a fan of using a power bomb here, but I do what I must. I'm gonna save here. <laughs> Those cabbages are the worst. <laughs> Get out of here. I still have no bombs, by the way. I'm just gonna go buy some frickin' bombs. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some bombs. Also, hi, brown guard. This is a good Zelda game. Yeah, Messes fan, thank you for the 11 months. I was playing Metroid. Now I'm playing Link to the Past. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll be back to Metroid soon enough. This is called the Super Metroid Zelda 3 Combination Randomizer. So it's... You play both Super Metroid and Link to the Past, and there's like four points where you can transition between the games. And uh, the items are shuffled between both games. So I may have to come over here to get a Super Metroid item, to go somewhere to get a Link to the Past item. So let's see what's over here. We got... See, there's a missile pack, a master sword, and ether. So we, we got some Super Metroid missiles. So with, with your sub, hang on, I gotta go do daily plus points. Remember, this is the final month of the higher revenue split on Twitch. So we got two months down. So if I get uh, 37 more sub points over the next two weeks, I will unlock more money, which is good. Good for me. Unfortunately, Twitch Prime does not count. It has to be a paid tier one, tier two, tier three sub. So gift subs don't count, and Twitch Prime does not count. Tier one subs are one point, tier two subs are two points, and tier three subs are six points. So I got like six tier three subs, so that's like the fifth of the month right there. Bombs, finally! Jeez. Now, has YouTube heard of YouTube memberships? That is only $3 a month and offers 
10 of the best emotes. Actually, I don't know. Is it eight, eight emotes? My YouTube um, members aren't too high, so I don't have too many of those unlocked. I think I got eight emotes there. So eight of the best emotes on YouTube. Got them. Let the money roll in. Funnily enough, the revenue split on YouTube is already 70-30. <laughs> Which is the maximum I can get on Twitch if I get um, 300 sub points for three straight months. I wouldn't look nearly this cute if I didn't have Twitch chat support. So. <laughs> Y'all got me this. I'm actually getting quite close to a YouTube payout. I need like 30 more dollars, and I'll get a YouTube payout. Uh, we, I got a lot of lurker, weirdo lurkers on YouTube. It's okay. I, I will allow them to, you know, remain anonymous. I respect the lurk. Shinobi, how many more followers do you need for emotes? <laughs> This is a Kraid boss key. Also, don't be alarmed. I'm switching to a pre recorded video now. Wrecked ship. I don't want to go to wrecked ship. How are you doing? I'm just fading in and out of existence here. Don't worry about me. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. I got a lot of weird viewers. It's, that's, that's perfectly fine. Do I have the boss key here? I do not. We're out. GG's. I think it is time for Super Metroid. As I mentioned, this is one of those portals. I go in here. And I come out. In my tactical dress. <laughs> uh, 
and enjoy CG. Next stop and buy. Be sure to give me all your money on the way out. Does he like Orange Kitty more? I I like the orange more. I think orange is good. I don't have any orange outfits. It doesn't have to match one of my outfits. I mean, I only have two public facing outfits. Alright, please be nothing over here. Whatever. I don't need the map. Who needs the map? That's a very fun mock ball there. Anyway, uh, we are done for this area. I think I go to Billy Mays. Yeah, I can do Billy Mays. That's Brinstar one key. So there's three checks over, four checks over there. Yeah, we're gonna go to Billy Mays. And the fastest way for me to get there is to cheat. We're gonna cheat. I do. Yeah, the main reason going down here is awful isn't because it's like hard or anything. It's just you got this bullshit. I'm just coming in here to check this item. That's a key card. Well, when we ever get speed booster, we're going in there probably. Oh, Queen Sheeta, hello. Bemic, good to see ya. Why, oh, so many, so many peeps here. I am. I would say I am. We're getting very close to the higher revenue split on Twitch, which is cool. Can't wait to be there. <laughs> My god, do I need it. Okay, we have the gauntlet access.
I actually need to take off high jump boots for this because I legit don't know how to do it with high jump boots. <laughs> you just bonk the ceiling, you actually go further with this. Ooh, we can go pay a visit to good old Ridley. It's time for Mr. Riddles, everybody's favorite. As soon as I get out of this mess. <sighs> Type one if you consider me a cozy streamer. Like, what even is a non-cozy streamer? Is would Spike be a non-cozy streamer? <laughs> I think I'm loud and active sometimes. Maybe not all the time. Spike is too okay. No, Spike just needs to fix his microphone. So he doesn't peek all the time. It happens. All right, why is YouTube typing random numbers now? Why can't you just be normal? Be normal VTuber enjoyers. All right, here. I'm kind of like probing my YouTube chat to see, you know, what, what kind of people I deal with. Chat. All right. This is a very specific question. And I'm intentionally framing it this way, with the, with the correct terminology. Chat, who's your Oshi? I will judge you depending on whether you know that term or not. <laughs> Am I not cozy, YouTube? Oh, come on. All right, you know, YouTube was okay for a little bit. I, I think... Twitch is going back to being my favorite. Who's your Oshi? <laughs> I realize that's a loaded question. You can learn a lot about a person from who their Oshi is. YouTube just randomly suggested this to you? Why? Why, Microwave? Why the hell did YouTube recommend this place? You're not gonna like it. I don't know, I, I think YouTube's making mistakes. I don't want this stream to be recommended. Nobody should be watching this. My guess is if you watch other VTubers, maybe it, or Super Metroid stuff, it probably comes up. I don't know. I actually don't. I, I, yeah. I don't watch enough YouTube streams to know how it works. I can just put it up there, and whoever shows up, shows up. Did you come from other VTuber stuff, Microwave, or is this like the, the first time you've seen weird shit like this? This is the Super Metroid Link to the Past Combination Key Sanity Randomizer. I know that was a lot to take in. I can explain any of those terms if you need it. Oh, she's like your favorite person. It's been extended to be like, who's your favorite VTuber? Who's your favorite idol? Some stuff like that. Um, VTuber culture is so weird. Oh, she's just one of them.
Yeah, so it's it's a randomizer that connects both games together. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll explain with a couple items that are coming in. I can give you one. Second. So you see, I'm, I'm not playing as Link. I'm playing as me. This is me. This is my sprite. Um, you're gonna see me in this game. Uh, so if I'll open up this chest, it's gonna be a random item. This was a map. Some kind of alien map device marked Meridia. So th what that was is a map of Meridia. Uh, so I can go over to Super Metroid at four different points. Uh, one of them is down here. So there's there's four like doors. Like these were modified in the ROM hack to because um, they weren't useful. They're like fortune tellers or map rooms, stuff that you don't really use when you're speed running this game, playing randomizer. So this is one such room right here. So if I go in this door, it kind of like acts as a warp from The Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past to Super Metroid. So now I'm over here, uh, which is awesome. I think. So I can find Link to the Past items in Super Metroid. I can find Super Metroid items in Link to the Past. And specifically, Key Sanity is, uh, I did not make this sprite. My chat made this sprite. Uh, this one was made by Shinobu, who I think is still in chat. And uh, the Link to the Past was made by Hawkalis. So normally there's no keys in Super Metroid. Uh, but you can see here, there's a one next to this door and it's flashing. That's because they added in keys. So each zone has a level one key card, a level two key card, and a boss key card. So I need to go find those items before I can go through. Um, so you see down there, the boss, the B buttons, that, that's a door locked by the boss key card I have to go find, instead of just having the ammo that opens up the door. So this is the gauntlet. So I need the level two criteria key card to go in here. And like I was playing with Link to the Past, what Key Sanity does there is like, imagine if you are here watching the stream. Um, low poly racing mix, liquid drum and bass mix. I mean, that sounds cool. I'm curious why YouTube thought this would be stuff that you like, but you know, okay. As long as you're having a good time. Uh, so, Link to the Past, or Legend of Zelda games, they have keys, there's boss keys, there's items, whatever. Uh, so, all of the dungeon keys are shuffled into the world, so I can find a, I can find Link to the Past keys over here. So, we're going to get two items, actually, in this next spot. I'm going to turn on Plasma Beam, because I can. Liquid Drum and Bass go so hard. I don't even know what a Liquid drum, drum is. Chat, what is a Liquid Drum? This is a legit question. I do not know. Okay, this is a map to Turtle Rock and a piece of heart for Link to the Past. So you can see really quickly how it works. So I have to go find all the items. Oh, shit. Okay, thank God. I have to go find all the items in order to work my way around the game through all the locks and all of that until the game's done. It's a genre of music that the breakdancing cat meme is from. Sorry, I'm not. Sometimes I get resting bitch face. I promise I'm not always at this angry. Yes, Sam. Ow. What the hell? Let's see, can I get over to. I can get over to Rex ship chat. 
I'm not a fan of this. But I can do it. Liquid DNB is super chill. Well, it can be. Okay. Subgenre of EDM. Okay. Uh, thank you for the clarification. <gasps> Wait, how do I get there? I'm not sure I can make this jump. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do another cool jump here. hitting my head? When is my head on the ceiling? Is my camera off? I'm concerned now. Or, or when I shine sparked directly into the wall. I'm trying to short charge this. Ah. I can do this without short charging. I'm just gonna get good at wall jumps. Ugh. All right, we're in. More fall bombs, I take. All right, I don't want to alarm you all. There's a chance I die. Please don't make fun of me. I gotta go fight the other fan. I'm actually doing this because there's less with screw attacks, there's less chance of that. Cycle should be good. Ah. 
Normally you don't want to hit him with the super, but it's okay in this situation. GG! Easy game. Crystal 7! So that's another thing. You can get Link to the Past dungeon crystals and pendants from Super Metroid bosses. <laughs> and you can get Super Metroid boss credit from beating Link to the Past bosses. You know, just, just rando things. Don't worry about it. That is part of the key sanity thing. That's what makes it so fun. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll get some money. I need some King Zora money. I got 300 buckaroos. Alright, chat, I'm gonna do the YouTube thing. Since there are quite a few people here right now, relatively speaking. I apologize, but I will say it. If you came from a YouTube recommendation, and you're not having the worst time of your life. It may be worthwhile to, you know, you know, you know to press the button and all that crap. I, I don't want to say the word. You know what to do. No, I won't say it, Zephyr. I refuse. Not in the middle of a stream. I'll just allude to a common thing that people do on YouTube. I'll say them for three subs. I will give the stereotypical YouTube spiel for three subs. There we go. I need to sell out way more than I currently am. Um, for three subs, I'll give the generic YouTube spiel. Let's see if anybody actually listens to it. Let's placate the algorithm. Shit, that's Titan's mid. Yo, the Brad dude, thank you for the three month streak. Four months of sub, heck yeah. That is two sub points today for the plus program. There we go. Do, 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 do. Bop. God, I really want those mitts. I think I can actually get this too. I'll say two more within a reasonable time frame. I'm gonna try taking off high jump boots, just full sending it. Shit. I still need to remember to jump. Jiggly Lily, don't do those jokes. Jiggly 
Drone it with the the three subs. All right, I'll do it. Those of you watching on YouTube, regardless of where you came from, whether you clicked a recommendation or you're watching it today, remember to smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to like and comment below this video if you're having a good time. And make sure to ring that bell. And I'd also like to remind you of my sponsors, NordVPN, Raid Shadow Legends, um, Loot Crate, as well as... Um, um, the, the meals, Factor 5 meals, we got other meal prep services, and of, of course, Red Bull. <laughs> it hurt me to do it. You're not doing any of those, then why are you still here? I do hate doing spiels. There, they. If you, if I get a big generic spiel, I'm so much more likely to just turn off the YouTube video, especially if it's like within the first thirty seconds. Because here's the stats. Um, the reason um, you you do stuff in the first thirty seconds. Here we go, we're, we're gonna go into YouTube algorithm bullshit lesson. Uh, so the reason you do stuff in the first 30 seconds is because that's when people are most attentive to a video. So any creator on YouTube who actually wants to get big will do the entire spiel. Well, actually no, because people who watch on YouTube can only do one thing at once. You can't overload them with information. So what you do is like in the first 30 seconds, you do subscribe to the channel. Because you want, you want to get the subs up, right? Because the more subs up, the more recommendations are going to happen, the more likely your videos are going to get seen, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you only do one at a time. This is the new meta. I was doing the old meta. Um, and then like five minutes later, you'll do a call to action. It's called a call to action um, when you want the person watching to do something. Like I say type one, that's a call to action, you know, whatever. Um, but you can only do one thing at a time. Uh, so then later, you know, if you're having a good time, hit the like button. Make sure to leave a comment. So you do all that separate, and you, you have them spaced so the person can um, go through and you know accurately process it, right? And then you, you got to make sure that your first thirty seconds are like super, super active, because otherwise people will click off the video within like three seconds. Because thanks TikTok. Um, so you got to really grab their attention and then just constantly, constantly do cuts, do changes. You got to talk fast, cut out dead time, uh, because that's what you need to do for people to stay. Cause the more people, and that's, and the reason you have bullshit thumbnails is cause the more people that click on that thumbnail based off how many are shown, the more likely YouTube is going to recommend your video to more people. Yes. That's what I needed. I needed to do the rant to get my Titans met. We're out of here. See, high jump boots, not always great. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. For those of you who are on YouTube, you probably don't know what a TED Talk is. Um, it's like lecture videos about interesting topics that, like, basically anybody can do. There you go. <laughs> Ow! That's right, I still have to make it back. I'm just gonna de-boost this. Oh shit! <laughs> no! I got... I got one frames. If you don't have the gravity suit and you hit the spikes in the wrong way, that happens. You just take the damage every single frame until you're dead. That's it's annoying. That's okay, we have the tech. We'll get there.
That's why I saved in Spiky Death Room. Before Spiky Death Room. High jump boots. This is like the most important thing for me to get right now. It's definitely a like either gravity suit required. I don't I don't think this is in logic with um Whew. Okay, we made it. With just uh, high jump boots, but I could be wrong. <laughs> also, by the way, Booty Salad, I do like your name. It's a good name. How did I get back here before? This is like no issue last time. Oh, did I just put high jump boots back on? I'm stupid. <laughs> Okay, we're out! We got the Titan's Mitt locked in. Heck you. Let's go save so we don't have to do that mess again. Now, if Gravity Suit is the next check, I'm gonna get very mad. I'm just gonna turn off the game and go do something else. I'll take my health. This is like the worst room up here. We gotta kill everybody. Gotta unlock that door. I don't think I need this, so I'm gonna un unlock that door anyway. If you don't open a flashing door, it relocks when you enter this room, so you have to hit all the ones you actually want. Now I can just run through here. Oh, does SMZ3 logic rec like that's an expected trick? That's awful. That's so bad. Why would that be a thing? I 
might as well get some missiles while I'm here. Shine Spark. I imagine if you don't have high jump boots, it's going to be hard to get over there. It's a key card! Damn it! Really? Why is it locked? I got out the other door. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay. Alright. Alright, game. I'll go. Stop yelling at me. Well, we're just gonna go back to Link to the Past. Where we should be. Fill up on power bombs because you never know when you're gonna need those. that we can do here now. That is ether. I don't have hookshot or bomb to go in there, so that's good info. Not much I can do in here. I might as well check the, the two items while I can. Item number one. Nothing. And in door number two. Ooh, it's a big key to Turtle Rock. Potentially required. Good to have. Oh wait, I have to go this way since I don't have flippers. I'll be able to chain this into a Gina, because remember I went into a Gina and I didn't have bombs and I was very sad? I'll also be very sad if it's like gravity suit. <gasps> I 
I still need two more items and like three keys to do it. <laughs> it's one of the most, and a hammer, it's one of the most requirement dense locations. Three small keys, one big key, fire rod, ice rod, cane of Samaria, titan smith, and hammer are your minimum requirements to go do turtle rock. That's like the entire game. I'm gonna go into the back of Sank. Seventy stream streak. Gosh darn. Enjoy your jail hands. Did I really miss that? I did. Ah. You want a bigger streak? You're just gonna have to stop going to bed early, John Eden. Sorry, buddy. Well, luckily for you, since I'm getting a water softener on Saturday, the only other stream for the next two weeks is going to be on Thursday. I'm not happy about it either, but the the job that pays the bills um, the most requires me to be there. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, let me check this. Yeah, look at the pixel outline. Looks good. Yeah. Shading looks much better. Yeah, this, this sprite is looking crisp. Okay, Dragon is in Turtle Rock. Good to know. Good to know, chat. Pointless, it's, it's not completely pointless. I think if something gives you happiness, it's not pointless, no matter how silly it is. If you like number go up, and that makes you happy, it's not pointless. Not everything has to have, like, monetary value or some other intrinsic value to it. Yo, space jump. Yeah, if you like number go up, that's not you. That's not pointless. Don't call it pointless. I thought watch streaks. I was like, Who's, who cares about this? Um, but a lot of people do. And that's okay. Yeah, and I'm happy people are enjoying it. It's something I, I did not expect. It does have like ulterior motives. Like the whole reason um, it exists is to encourage people to, it, it's, it's like daily quests, you know? Where it encourages people to stay active, it encourages people to stop by. Like you'll you will make a more effort to come watch my stream. A lot of people will be like, I will spend more effort to make sure I don't lose this streak. Like that's the goal of this, right? That that is 100% the goal of why Twitch added those in is to get people to have like an emotional attachment. This is the cynical view of it. 
uh, an emotional attachment to a stream other than the streamer itself to want to keep a number high um, so that you watch more ads, you spend more money. Um, but it makes me happy. Like, if, if you guys are happy, like, I'm happy. So I think it's cool. It's one of those things where, yeah, it has an ulterior motive, but, like, it's not that bad. It's still okay. Like, if that's something that's mutually enjoyable, then that's okay. I'm all for it. Like, so it does have its use. Yeah, a, a live service game's goal is to spend all of your time. So, Gotcha Games, Genshin Impact, they, they will do things in order, specifically in order for you to spend the most time doing said thing. The problem is it is a tough balance, right? You can't just put stuff out there that's time consuming, that's bad. It has to be good. So like, not only do you need to do stuff to encourage that, it has to be good. <laughs> um, so it does kind of have a negative reinforcement if you just do it for time consuming purposes. Yeah, most people are like me who do not want to spend any money. Unless it's like my friend's money or ch I will spend someone else's money in a gacha game. I will not spend my own money in a gacha game. It's like if someone's going to give me 20 bucks only because I will roll it, I will, I will, I will do a wish. I will, I will make sure. <laughs> I, will, I will roll for the SSRs. That's how I got the the booby lady and Mahjong soul. My main. <laughs> but yeah, so like consumers benefit because like the qual the content quality has to be good to warrants like daily use. But at the same time, no matter what you do, if you, if you just have to constantly grind stuff, people are not going to like it. So you have to make the rest of your game, like, super worth it uh, to invest our precious time. Nothing is more valuable than an individual's time. That is, like, the most valuable thing in the universe. Unfortunately, the way are the world set up to take advantage of that. And the ease one of the easiest ways, as it turns out, to get people to want to spend money on your game is waifus. <laughs> People love waifus. But they're also... The demographic that spends all the money is also very particular. It can't just be any waifu. It has to be like specific waifus. And you gotta follow rules about those waifus. You can't show them dating men and other stuff. That'd be bad. Chad, that's why you'll never see me dating a guy. I, I gotta be pure. <laughs> so everybody thinks they have a chance. That's the reason I'm single.
There, there's a quote here. I said, I said I'd date a femboy. There's a quote somewhere in the quote bot. That was definitely something I would do. And that just because that that's just because like I have a body hair phobia. And them boys shave their legs. It's like all hot. They also don't have facial hair. I forget why Hooters came up in that conversation. I have never been to a Hooters. I just, I've seen them, but I've never actually stepped foot inside of one. Oh yeah, Femboy Hooters. Quote number 128. Like, if I want to see curls wearing clothing like that, I'll just go to the internet. I don't need to go buy a sub... Like, are the... Is the food at Hooters any... Has anyone here actually been to Hooters? What, is their food any good? <laughs> Is there any redeemable quality to it? Yes? Yeah, no? Like, I don't want to, I mean, if, if the girl's really hot, you know, I'm gonna you know, get a peek or two. But, I don't, I don't wanna just go to stare at people. I, it just seems, it seems shady. Like, okay, compare Hooters wings to Wingstop. Like the, the basic fast food wings. I do enjoy Wingstop. I wish they delivered to space, though. They do not. Unfortunately. Jonid. Okay. Please, please, Jonid. Tell me that you do not like B dubs. Please. Please. Please tell me B dubs sucks. This is for your own good. No! Yeah, B-dubs is like the worst of all of the wing places I've tried. This is why I preface that, yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings is awful. Buffalo Wild Wings, B-dubs. Ch here, chat, type one if you like Buffalo Wild Wings. Type two if you do not like Buffalo Wild Wings. If your thing is like, eh, uh, you do not like it, type two. Uh, so. <laughs> Gotta know. And everybody's putting a 1.5. Heck you, chat. Alright, so we got three people saying it's okay. 
The majority saying it's mid to bad. Stop giving me your, st your stupid decimal values. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's just go do the front of Hyrule Castle, I guess. Also check check number one in Hyrule Castle. Oh, why am I going this way? The only time I ever... <laughs> Funnily enough, the only time I ever go to, like, American pubs, breweries... Well, um, I'm thinking more like the pub. Like, the generic pub. You know, a place that has burgers, grilled cheese sandwiches, and then we usually have a large selection of beers and stuff. The only time I'm ever at one of those places is with J-Hobbs. He's the only person. Because he has he has the widest taste buds I know. So we always end up at a place like that. And like, you know, I'll eat it, it's fine. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> I, I love Hobbs, but <laughs> it's, it's just so funny. Whenever Angel's talking to me, um, I'll ask him, like, hey, where are you going? And you'll say, like, some pub, like, Hobbs recommended. It's like, yep. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. At AGDQ, we went to, like, a pub, like, this, this same spot, like, twice in two days. Like, literally back-to-back nights. We ended up at the same spot. Yeah, J. Hobson. Jeffrey, my friend and technically boss sometimes. He's my boss only at mainline GDQ events and nowhere else. <laughs> Uh, whiteest, as in the color white. Um, boneless is not good. It, bone in is a true wing. Bone in is messy, but yeah, it's it's like the the flavors are so different. Cause boneless is like what breast meat or tenders depending on where you go. Yeah, they're bo boneless wings or chicken nuggets. That's okay. That's acceptable. Uh, we are talking about buffalo wings, whether bone-in or boneless wings are good. Ooh, it's golden bean. It's not dead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fake flippers.
Uh, yeah, Bone In and Boneless are totally different flavors. They're completely different parts of the chicken. Yeah. Like, if I could get the flavor of a Bone In wing without the bone, I would. It's like how the bone-in chicken at Popeyes is way better than the tenders. Good thing KFC sucks. I don't have to worry about KFC. Unless you mean Korean fried chicken, which is very different. Korean fried chicken's never blowed me away enough for me to like actively seek it out. The only time I have Korean fried chicken is in a karaoke bar or a karaoke place. I don't think I've ever had Korean fried chicken anywhere else. isn't going to knock your socks off. It's fast food chicken. It's just a more flavorful fast food chicken than average. But it's still fast food chicken. Like. <laughs> if all you want is fast food chicken, Popeye's has it. And like anywhere that ser does service where it is, um, you know, like y they make batches of it and they pull it out of the trays. If you get it fresh out of the fryer versus one that's been sitting in the heat lamp for two hours, it's a very different experience. <laughs> fresh Popeye's chicken is really good. Yes, I am playing myself. I had to think about my words for a second there to make sure um, y'all didn't make any clips. I'm smart. I'm not gonna quote fish. I don't think it is possible for me to cosplay as myself. Last time I've done ice rod lamb was. <laughs> Gravity suit! Yo! 
that is big. Very. Now, where is my hammer? like Sailor Mercury? Am I too much like Sailor Mercury? Got enough money for toppings for your baked potato yet? Yo, Dragon Samurai, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. I'm glad the TTS for YouTube still works. I think that actually pushes me over. I'll have to go check and see if that gets me over the edge for... Um, the YouTube payout. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Um, Nineteen point ninety nine times point seven is thirteen. I'm just gonna add fourteen. Oh, oops, my keyboard's still in Japanese. card I think we go to Norfair SoCal. Should I know about where that is? 
As someone who has never, like, actually lived in SOCOM, I need some... I, I only go to visit some people. Maybe go to a convention here and there. The new station is... is hot. Boots! It's, uh... There's an unwanted amount of solar radiation in the water, so I'm getting a softener installed. But the new module is expensive. I got it in um, December. And I have not been able to save a penny since then. So I'm still living off my savings. It'll be good like the first month where I have positive cash flow. <laughs> Whenever that happens. I think it's probably going to take like two or three more months to get there. It should definitely happen when um, I have, hopefully, the 60-40 split on Twitch. And um, as well as... What is that? What was I saying? Uh, the hotfix shows back for a while. But I'm only season two. I'm not season one. So you saw the hotfix seasons announcements. Basically, they're reducing the number of shows at one time. So the some shows are on all the time. They're like they're doing really good. And some are like on a half. So my, my show is on like... We'll, we'll see after season two is done, but... I, I am very worried about it. I know I've got some subs in the tank. Available to go, but I, I'm still worried about it. Well, it doesn't matter how... Like, the only thing that matters is how are your numbers, right? That that's the critical thing. How how much how much can I make? So if nobody watches it, regardless of how objectively good it is, it needs to be popular. Do I need more sub? I'll always take more subs on Twitch. Yeah. I always say this: if you have a choice between 
like uh, subbing to during my show on Hotfix. Or um, subbing on my channel. I will say sub on my channel. <laughs> But I am not in financial dire straits yet, so. If I need to, I can cut back significantly on a couple of things. I'm trying to maintain, but yeah. Not a kidney, I'm not gonna do a kidney. And I think I'm going to be in much better shape uh, next year. Because I'm hoping I'll be able to refinance. I I've said this a thousand times. Refinance away from my current high interest rate. And, um... Yeah. Fingers crossed. How many clones do I sacrifice? much for me, Crockmire. That wasn't a very good birthday present. I am disappointed in you. I'll take the E. I can't believe how much sex Crockmire has. Like, holy shit. I wish that were me. Yo, wave beam? In the wavy room? Look, I can make waves like the cosine. Literacy. Okay, now we get in the gotta get out of here. We got all of our stuff. Do 
I go to Lord Norfairn? I don't have any keys in Lower Norfair. Let's see, I still only have the one Brinstar key. That's that's my problem. There's all the lower North Air stuff. Wait. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Mm hmm. There's Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I think I can go down here. I don't have enough ammo to kill Ridley, but I can go down there. Bona bona ulu. How ulu are you? I haven't saved in a while, let's save. Yeah, because I still do not have a hammer, or flippers, or a hookshot. I'm very limited in what I can do in Link to the Past. I've done so much map rando, I kind of forgot where I need to go. Through the boiling mess. When I get to the good music, I'm gonna take a food break, chat. Did you all see the eggs I posted? I got so much better at making eggs after only one shot. Like I said, I only messed up the same strategy once. I identify the mistakes and correct them. They were delicious. Perfect over medium. Because I like never make eggs. I was like, ah, oh, let's give it a shot. Start off with something simple before I start making bread. Is it possible to do a map rando with SMZ3? No, but map rando defeats the whole point of having SMZ3. SMZ3 does not play well with entrance rando. I got the triple tap short charge. I do not, I cannot do this. I don't have a charge beam. I don't think I, I have enough missiles for this. I'll go down here anyway and check the item. I saved not too long ago, so I'll see. I kind of forgot Golden Teresa is like your, your pathway here. God. Yeah, let, let me farm up some. I, I need full supers for this. These guys drop supers. Question, has anybody done baking with a water, softened water? I'm curious if it affects things. I imagine it, it does. But I'm getting like a reverse osmosis filter to get rid of all the extra sodium. So it's like just gonna be basic, like practically distilled water, not fully distilled. But it's not gonna have like any real problem associated. 
I haven't baked anything in this water, so not applicable. The place I was at did not have really hard water. It was kind of like in the middle, and no. Yeah, I bake all. I I I bake a lot of stuff. I know how to bake every single traditional cookie, and they're freaking amazing. Cookies, cakes, lemon bars, believe it or not, creme brulee, bread. And not just like bread bread, I'm talking like ciabatta bread and all the, not sourdough, heck sourdough. Different types of French bread, yeah, so much bread. I figured out the key to making... Okay, so here's how you know a recipe is good or not. You look at how much flour do you use. And if the recipe says, put in three cups of flour and like two cups of this, like three tablespoons of whatever, one quarter tablespoon of this, you know it's shit immediately. And the person has no idea what they're talking about. My kitchen sink is going to be run through reverse osmosis. So it's going to have like nothing in that water. But yeah, anybody who gives you a flower measurement in volume and not mass cannot be trusted. That's how you know they they're 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 just bad. Every the entire house is going through the the softener. Except this the and then the sink is additionally going through reverse osmosis. There's no way to single out the sink. Uh, no, it actually makes it need it less. Sodium is not that tough for the filter. Because the softener already, like, the reverse osmosis doesn't really care too much, <laughs> you know, what what ions are in there. But when there are significantly less of them, the filters don't have to work as hard. All right, four more super missiles. We're almost there. Where are the other non-sodium particulates going? Down the drain. That's what a water softener does. It literally, it, it was a combination filter and ion exchange. So calcium and magnesium get sucked out, they get replaced with sodium, and then everything else gets filtered. Um, it's constantly um, flushing it out on metered intervals based off of like 12 different variables, water pressure, temperature, um, hardness level, what's dissolved, all that kind of stuff. I cook by science. Yeah. 
Okay, we got our missiles. Let's go. This could be a short trip. Okay, we did it! Yeah, I, I'm the opposite. I don't trust people who don't use recipes. <laughs> it's like, that means your consistency is shit. No matter how experienced you are. If you're not measuring, if you're not doing this, it's like, yeah. I do not trust. Time to get a whole bunch of missiles. If you're experienced enough, you're cooking with recipes. The recipes are just in your brain because you've done it so much. You ain't just winging it. Nobody's just winging it. So they're going off, the, the chefs are going off of recipes. 100%, guaranteed. No one is not. It's just, you have it solidified. <laughs> and anybody who says otherwise, I do not believe you. I do not believe you for a second. All right, the signifier of a bad chef they don't trust recipes because they feel superior to them. That is a chef's restaurant I will not go to if I even know about it. I'll take the microwave food at Applebee's. Yes, Jonah. Yes, it was. Whatever the chef's experience is.
then I would say he's full of shit. <laughs> Or mis misleading you, or something. Um. The whole truth is not there. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second. Like, you, you literally need to know fundamental things about those ingredients. Otherwise, you cannot, no matter how good you are, you will not be able to utilize them properly. properly. Made a preconceived dish with acceptable substitutions. Yeah. Are the instructions for correctly dicing a vegetable a complete recipe? No. That's a technique. And certain recipes will call for certain sizes. Yeah. You can't just willy nilly be like, okay, we're gonna use this. Size is important depending on what you're going for. That's why there's like 30 different pastas. That, that was like there's 30 different pastas. Let's go about, let's go, let me explain this a different way. To hopefully, I, I think we're talking past each other. You can experiment and make new, new dishes based off of existing techniques, combinations, and all that. That's how all food is made. Um, if you're going to ever make that food again, and you're not doing a recipe, you are a fool. So you made a recipe, and now you got a recipe. So it's just foolish to like ignore that. I am a. I will go ahead and act like an idiot in front of people with thirty years of chef experience. I do not. I do not care. Yeah, I think Joan and I are talking about literally completely different things. No. Yeah. You can have shitty recipes.
Yeah, I, I think we're talking about different things. I think we're talking about very different things. I'll, I'll add some, some clarifiers here. Let's say... You are a professional chef. You have your own restaurant. And if you do not have uh, recipes for the things on your menu, you are a complete idiot. Does that make sense? Yeah, so basically, if someone's just throwing stuff together untested with ingredients, I don't want it. I never want it. Ever. <laughs> I will never want it. I've had too many bad experiences with people who have no idea what they're talking about. Okay, I don't care if you're the best chef on the planet. I'm not putting that in my mouth. Lesson learned, I will never eat at Shinobu's house. Here brings up a good point. A recipe is like a blueprint. It may require adjustments, but you, you got the fundamental there. And you could, like, like in some cases, you could sub do ingredient substitutions, um, slight different things depending on elevation, what your water is, what type of milk you got. I need to re- I've been complaining about Hoity Toity Chefs for too long. I need to actually get some checks. I still don't have a hammer. This sucks. Alright, can I show you? to be very, very careful with um, any sort of 
place that bills themselves as, you know, making local, local delicacies and all that. It's like, I have to be like way more scrutinous for those. That's why I'm always hesitant to go to like, you know, you know, you have, you know, chef restaurants where it's like, oh, you know, we have this famous chef who is responsible for all of this stuff. And like, honestly, usually I'm not a fan of what they come up with. So I'm not going to go pay like, you know, you know, like, yeah, you can do like tasting things where it's like, oh, the chef has these 12 things and you just go eat them all. I could never do that. I've done something like that once and it was just an awful experience. But yeah, I'm boring like that. <laughs> they do too many things that are like to be fancy for fancy's sake and not like other reasons she's like I don't, I don't need this I, I don't need your truffles get them out of here I'm not willing to eat weird stuff. I've literally eaten an entire baby squid raw and cold. <laughs> I have eaten some weird shit. This sucks. I guess I'll go beat Skull Woods. Yeah, soup cocktail sounds gross. go get some fried chicken. <laughs> For whatever reason. I really, really like um, like the type of pineapple you get at Brazilian steakhouses where it's like grilled pineapple with cinnamon sugar. Mm. Now that stuff is amazing. If you haven't had that, I highly recommend it. I don't even know what that is. Is that a drink? If it's alcohol, I don't like it. 
Uh, fermentation, so it's probably got alcohol in it. I'll pass. Get away from the damn corner. Yeah, and you don't have to agree with me. I'm stupid and I'm stubborn. <laughs> I will never change my ways. Yeah, the amount of times I've I've gone hungry for a night because um it's a, like anytime I hear the the term homemade meal, I'm, I'll get really nervous for multiple reasons. One, most people, including myself, have no idea how to cook properly. You saw my first attempt at fried eggs. Second attempt, though. Chef's tips, but first attempt. Not great at all. Um... I have seen, like, cooking setups in certain places. And um, a lot of people do not ever clean their stove. They don't ever properly clean their tools. They don't properly clean the fridge. Um... <laughs> Who knows the quality of the ingredients? So I get very, very nervous. I'm gonna do this so I can move the top. So, like, I just don't trust people to cook for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm high maintenance. I'm bad. I have gotten sick more times eating at friends and family's places than in restaurants. I go to a lot of restaurants. <laughs> Even the dirtiest regulated restaurants probably cleaner than the average kitchen. Most people would not get an A rating. <laughs> um, I don't really have. The only thing I can't really do is shrimp, um, shellfish. I don't have any strong allergies to anything. I've seen what goes on behind the scenes of a chili of a chili's. Many things scared me, but still nothing scared me as some of the kitchens I've seen people cook in. My food opinions are so shitty, I lost two followers.
<laughs> nah, no cold burritos for me. I'm sorry. I only keep leftovers of a few things. Most stuff doesn't reheat well. I have never taken Chipotle home. God, what can I even do? What am I missing? Uh, Chipotle Remo is the same thing. Differences are minor. Moe's is a, is a Chipotle, more prevalent on the East Coast. It's okay. It, it's, it's the same tier range competition as for Chipotle. God, what can I do? The desert. Do I have the Hera Big Key? I have a Hyrule Castle thing. Of course, not here. I have only ever seen Moves on the East Coast. I've never seen one on the West Coast or in space. Incessance that Moe's is superior to Chipotle. And it's like, they're the same thing. There was a Moe's and a Chipotle next door to each other um, in Pittsburgh, where the AGDQ hotel is. So one day I went to Chipotle. Uh, one day I went to Moe's, and it might as well have been the same. I think Moe's was slightly more expensive. I'll have to go check my receipts. But, like, I eat at both of them. I'm good with them. Oh, I've seen Camp Pendleton. That is off the fire. Ah, oh, gosh. Oh, wait, I have a small key to desert. That's two checks. All right, can I tap my stair? Uh, what's the same as Chipotle? Moe's. Moe's burritos or whatever. Thank you. 
Small game of Turtle Rock. God, I need a hammer. I need a hammer or a hook shot. I don't have either of them. Shit. What do I have access to? I did Ether Tablet, right? I went and did Ether Tablet. I did Bombos Tablet. Purple Chest. Chest game. I did everything in Thieves Town that I can. Everything in Skull Woods I can. Graveyard Ledge is done. I can't do Spike Cave. Everything else on the mountain is done. Uh, Eastern. I can't go anywhere further. Hera. I cannot go anywhere further. I cannot get to Pod. I cannot go into Swamp Palace. Skullbuds is clear. Thieves Town is clear. What's going on? I cannot. I can sequence break into Ice Palace, but that's not going to have my solution. Uh, I can get into Misery Mire. All right, can I jump in? See you next time. Uh, sorry, um, I have bad food opinions. You're, you're free to make. Also, when did Javon... Oh, I feel bad. I didn't notice Javon's reset. Javon, thank you so much. I don't know why I did not notice the alert. Alright, we'll go add your sub to the daily plus point for one. Maybe I was too heated about it. to be something good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe it's plagued by my whole life having unedible home-cooked food. You know if you have something that you really don't like, you just feel it in the back of your throat? It's like, ugh. Like if you eat a second hot dog, or like really bad meatloaf, you just, you just feel it in the back of your throat. I don't know how to describe the feeling. Uh, that's how every single home cooked meal I have is like. <laughs> Whether it be burgers, hot dogs, steaks. Oh yeah, my family cooked steaks well done, so that's why I didn't like steaks for so long. And the meat, I, I think the reason I don't like ground beef is because meatloaf with ketchup. Yeah, I don't know who thought it was a great idea to put a gallon of ketchup on top of meatloaf. Apparently it's a very common thing. Uh, but yeah, meatloaf sucks. It makes me sick to the stomach. It gives me that feeling in the back of my throat. Man, I think it actually permanently ruined me, ruined me on ground beef because I can't have, in, unless if I could have thin burgers that don't, where the patty doesn't taste like much, other than the seasonings and other toppings, those are fine. I cannot have a thick burger. Yeah, I didn't have, I didn't enjoy steak until I went to a proper steakhouse and got a medium cooked steak, which I was nervous at the time because I'd only have well done. I'd only been served well done. I still won't go to like medium rare or rare. I like my food to be warm and not cold. Um, but me medium is a delicious steak.
Yeah, rare, st rare steak is like too chewy for me. Too chewy and too cold. Because like rare has a cold center and that just bothers me. For whatever reason. Wait, I don't have a big deal. Is there anything else for me to do here? I don't think so. I got a key card. Forty-seven ounces. That's a lot of steak. Yeah, I know many people who don't like steak. That's okay. Oh, I got the Brinstar level two key card. Okay, that's huge. It is. Yeah, Shinobi did a wonderful job. How do you make steak? Oh, there's a poll in chat. I'm a, I'm a medium person. And here's, here's what I will say. I will not shame anybody for liking anything. If you enjoy well-done steak, order your well-done steak. No judgment here. If you only order well-done steak, and then use that as an excuse to say you don't like steak, you should probably at least try medium. Medium, everything is still warm and, and cooked, so... You don't have to get, like, the weird cold meat. Very thankful for this. Fourteen brats? My goodness, that would make me sick. <laughs> yeah, and if that is delicious, Viola, honestly, if you have steak at regular intervals, You've probably had medium steak because it's very common to overcook steak at restaurants. You'll ask for medium rare and they'll give you medium. If you don't see any red at all, it's medium. The only time I'll order medium rare is if I know the place generally overcooks their steaks. Which is fine, as long as the meat's good, it's, it'll, be, it'll be good. Meanwhile, medium. I should go to Meridia now. Mm -hmm. 
So I already did Billy Mays. Yeah, the ship colors are based off of some of the palette colors, so it's just going to be what it's going to be. I've already been over here. Uh oh, I cargoed. I have been over here, yeah? Yeah. I'm stupid. See, I am stupid. Yeah, medium. So, yeah, medium, middle of the road. It's a good stake. I don't think you can go wrong with medium. No matter what the stake cut is, it's going to be tasty at medium. I'm not going to be elitist about, about it. But I do recommend to people, if you do not like steak and have only had well-done steak before in your life, just give medium one shot. Like, and don't get a steak at like a Chili's or something, you know? Go, go, go to a place that actually makes steak. Even Outback will do. <laughs> I, I enjoy an Outback stage for every once in a while. Um... I don't even know where I get a well done. I, I guess I could make a well done steak. 100 subs, because it would involve me having to create an entire cooking setup. What's my favorite cook or my favorite cut of meats? Um, I, I, outside of whatever A4 Wagyu is, which I think applies to any cut, um, I actually prefer A4 to A5, because I think A5 has too much fat. A4 is like a really good amount. Um, and it's cheap. Yo, big key to Meyer. Lunch. Um, yeah, 100 subs, because that will allow me to buy a steak and create a cooking stream. So that's what I have to do. I do have a meat thermometer. But ribeye is my, I think my tastiest. I'm also a good fan of the, the basic top sirloin. Uh, flank steak is also really good. I don't leave things to chance. I don't leave things to feel. I leave things to science. I like spiders. I don't want to hurt a spider. Um, so I'll, I'll give you the feel highly incompetent. So a tier one sub is one point. A tier two sub is two points. A tier three sub is six points. Now, 
tier one subs, like since I am a Twitch partner, I already get higher revenue splits on tier two and tier three subs. So a tier two sub will give me 60% of that revenue for twice the price of a tier one sub. Tier one sub will give me 50% of the revenue. And then a tier three sub will give me 70% of the revenue in addition to also having an extra point. So technically, although it's the most expensive, it's $25 US dollars, a tier three sub gives me the highest percentage of money at 70% of that money and also has the most points per dollar. Um, that, that is what I will say. So, but $25 is a heck of a lot. Um, so it's only if you really, really want to do it, you've got some spare money you want to throw around. That's the only time I recommend doing it. Right here. I, don't, I do not think I am worth, t the content I produce is worth $25 a month. Uh, that is more than any streaming service that you can get, I think. And... <sighs> Shadow! <laughs> Thank you for the six months of tear holy shit thank you uh, and with that we have met our daily plus point goal thank you shadow i really appreciate it I'm worth twenty-five dollars a month. I'm I'm glad you think so. The way I have stuff set up with like Patreon, like you can give me as much money as you want for, and I, I don't even think it's like what you what you think is worth paying based off of your current income level. Yeah. Streaming is an interesting business. It, but I love this job. <laughs> it's probably like, this is probably the most I enjoy working out of anything I've ever Which is big contrast to how I used to be with streaming when I was really in the shitter. <laughs> oh, depression. How, how, how I love you so. Thankfully, right now, um, I, I am I am good. I would not call me depressed. Even if I took the personality thing and it said I'm not happy, I'm not depressed. <laughs> I I have never like felt the need that's like, oh, I'm gonna have to like go on some medicine or you know go talk to a therapist or whatever. Highly incompetent. <laughs> Thank you so much for the tier three sub. I, really... I hope you did not have to sacrifice anything to make that happen. Am I still in the top 0.5%? I don't know. Thank you so much. That's a, that's a lot of money. Um, just your family. Do you just look it up? <laughs> I am top 0.49% based off of what viewers? What is that metric based off of? 
Is it like subs? Is it revenue? Something else entirely. Yeah, it feels wild to say I'm like in the top 1% of anything. Outside of grades in school, that was the only thing I was good at. <laughs> Okay, we got him. It's not often I like having to do this, but... Top point zero zero. <laughs> Supers? I will gladly take a super treat, though. Thank you. No, I, I can be an idiot sometimes. I'll admit it. Hopefully I don't drive too many people away with my shenanigans. I'm, I'm assuming... Okay, so I'm in the top 0.5% of streamers based off of viewers, it sounds like. To put that in other perspective, for every streamer my size, so you look at my stream, I got 53 viewers right now. For every streamer my size, there are 199 streamers smaller, based off of what I, how, depending on how accurate that stat is. And I don't make that much money on stream. So you can see how untenable this career is. <laughs> it, it, it's not something a lot of people can do. It's such a competitive field. I, I still need I need to get into like the top 0.01 before like I can say, okay, I can quit jobs as my primary income source. Usually it's, if it's like one of those stats like Soli Gnome or Twitch Tracker or something, usually it's like percent of active streams in the last X days. It doesn't do like, oh, everybody who's streamed ever. It's also a good demonstration of why Twitch loses money. I think I, I I make a, a not a life changing amount of money streaming, but I make a healthy amount of money streaming. Dang, I, th I thought I had the one cycle there. Thank you. 
Sorry, Dragon. You lived a little bit longer than I was hoping. Crystal Fog. Yeah, usually it's like streamers in the in the watch period. Whatever. Active streamers. Yeah, I I am incredibly lucky to be able to say that at all. <laughs> Most people will never see a payout from Twitch. Like, I'm so lucky that I can actually do it regularly. Like, ever since I, I hit partner, I have not missed a payment deadline or failed to get enough revenue in a month. So that's like three straight years of I'm going to check every single month from Twitch. Which is very nice. That is a definite privilege. And I, I hope I can get to the, the top 0.1% eventually. That, that's where I could probably quit teaching. I'm so close to being able to do something like that. Just quit teaching forever. I actually do kind of need to look up something because... Um, There's a chance my pay will go down significantly in two years from my teaching activities. I get paid per unit, and they want to reduce the number of units in half uh, that my class is worth. So basically I would get paid half as much. Not through my fault, it's just that's where they want to take the program. So that, that, that gives me two years to make up that income with streaming, basically. <laughs> Where's this other pirate? Uh, I cannot tell you because that would be too much information. Too much, too much private information. I'm a VTuber, I need to stay anonymous. They should pay me more? I agree. I don't want my students finding my stream. I don't want my stream finding my, my school. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. I get paid $1,250 a month ish for teaching. That's the money I'm trying to replace. So if I keep my current incentive, basically that means I make $2,000 a month from streaming. I can quit that. That's the number, which is about three times what I currently make. So it's not an order of magnitude, which is good. And what that would get you is one extra stream day a week, and I could spend more time on YouTube and being less stressful but yeah that, that's also pretty like i have i have multiple jobs like there are many people out of work so it does feel kind of like jerkish to talk about oh woe is me my job is gonna pay less whoa oh no that that's something that's plagued me forever <laughs> Subas keeps calling me out on it um, I need to be better, like, it's like you know, just because, like, other people may be in worse shape does not mean 
I don't get to have no grievances whatsoever. It's not like a, you know, this type of stuff is a contest. <laughs> we want everybody to do better. But just because someone's not doing better doesn't mean you can't type of thing, if that makes sense. That's why I'm trying to get better at thinking of it that way. I'm gonna go back to my I will say, with my situation, I am doing worse as far as inflation is concerned. If you consider inflation part of the, the equation, I am doing worse. But I think that's true for practically everybody. So I'm hoping two years from now, I'll be able to quit. Um, I may quit regardless, even if my stream doesn't get to $2,000 a month, which being realistic, oh God, that, that's so hard to get to. I don't think I have that type of pull. But I'm hoping with some of the fun stuff I have planned, that, that will Im Increase the popularity of the stream, maybe? Getting like weird VTuber cooking streams and other activities, mysterious activities. Yeah, food's expensive. It's like, oh, just go grocery shopping and buy your food there. It's so much cheaper. <laughs> it's amazing how expensive all food is. Like, I, I may try and do karaoke streams. Basically, you all are great. I need to find more people like you. <laughs> I, I need, like, four times the amount of people to be coming into the stream every day. But I need to find friends like you. And more of them. Type one if you started watching this stream in 2024. Nobody. Shit. There you go. <laughs> Dixer. Okay. Yeah. There. There. There's one. It's a small number of people. 2023, I think, is the probably the, the biggest recent year of people finding it. I don't have the cane of Samaria. I can't do Shoujo. Enjoyed from a Shoujo? That, that sounds right. I love Shoujo. I, I need to get some fresh blood. Not that you all are not great, it's just like, I need to pay bills. <laughs> so I, I need to work on recruiting more people to watch the stream regularly. Yeah, what a coincidence that is. 
all good, Kalia. If you're curious, it says, You started following me October 30th, 2022. How do you get on the front page? Um, advertising, as in you are selling a product. You are doing a charity stream or a part of somebody who knows somebody at Twitch or random. Follow a hitch hasn't existed for like 10 years. You, you literally just click on your name. Anybody in chat can do this for anybody in chat. You click on somebody's username, they'll tell you when the account was made, when they were when they started following, and what sub tier you're at. That's that's a be default feature on Twitch. You literally just click on the names. You don't need mod privileges. Time is fake. You know what? Heck it. I'm sequence breaking in the Ice Palace just because I don't know. It's been so little. T I I've noticed you've been uh, tutored in here a lot more, so. That makes me happy that you choose to spend what little time you have here on this stream. I'm a space vampire? That's what the VNV. I don't think so. Yeah, and like every, there's so many streams on Twitch. It's like, you know, how am I going to convince people to watch my stream specifically? This is why I don't recommend anybody do streaming without having a backup plan. For me, my backup plan is two other jobs. That's what allows me to do stuff. Which, I will say, what I do is really dumb and very bad for work-life balance. My entire life is work. <laughs> ice beam! In Ice Palace. How funny. You know it's bad when when I I use most of my PTO to do stream related stuff, aka my other job. That, that's how down bad I am. Yeah, I do think. Based off of, I, I would say, in recent months, I've been like a 50 average viewer streamer. FF14, obviously, is going to be a lot lower because it's an MMO. MMOs will never bring in a ton of viewers, no matter what, no matter how um, hard you try. It, it's always going to be like one of the lower things, unless it's like your main thing. Shit. Oh, God damn it. I really hate coming in here without the hammer. <laughs> but, like, I'm just so low on ideas. Yes, I I am in the game. <laughs> Thanks to uh, two people in chat. I'm also in Super Metroid, which I'll be going back to soon. Stop Phantom OOT. That would be really, that would still be really hard. 
that that would be so hard. I could have sworn I got magic powder from somewhere. That's not. I'm so dead. Okay, maybe not dead, but not doing the best. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Yeah, this part. I, I think I can go upstairs. I'm trying to get to the... Never open up this door. But in this case, I had to. A mirror shield. Okay. Alright, we're out of here. Let me go check Super Metroid. I want to see what keys I have. Do, do. Radia boss, Norfair boss, Brenstar 1 2. I can go up top there. Do I have wreck ship yet? No wreck ship key. There's a couple other changes I'm going to suggest, but yeah, this sprite's really good. Oh, I, how did I fat finger that? Guess we're going to Lower North Air. Also, look, this is my favorite part of the Link to the Past, right, Vladimir, if you haven't seen it? 
Look at the map. Chai, you're gonna need to help me out on this one. <laughs> it's so good. Let's see what other sprites you could you can make me a Mario sprite, you can make me a <laughs> don't. I'm, I'm just being an idiot, but Yeah, if someone actually commits to making an OOT model, that, that's probably the single hardest thing to do. But it's not a difficulty contest. The art is so cool. It's the best fan art ever. Super Metroid sprites play pretty well with Castlevania. At least soda. So much for the 17 months. It's been a wild day. How are you doing, Violet? Anyone shout out to Violet, they're very cool. All good. Thank you. For, thank you for taking the time to stop. So I appreciate that greatly. Ah, uh, uh, okay. You got here just in time for ads. With the sub, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I'm gonna save. I don't trust myself on Ridley with 60 tanks. I do have like four reserves. I'm just gonna need to farm up missiles, which sucks. Cargo time. Oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna sit here until I have 40 super missiles, chat.
This is the no charge beam life. It's what we gotta deal with. Please don't unfollow. Please don't unsubscribe. I'm sorry. I just, I just gotta get ammo. This, this is what the game requires me to do. Ah yes, Gato Robato. I have like three friends who speedrun that game. For... <laughs> I'm not sure what that broad mod. It's, it's a very silly game. I remember commentating, or I think I was hosting a Gato Robato. Gato Robato. This is why he subscribed. I do appreciate it, Hylian. Now Hylian has access to glue. Congratulations. Can we get some blue in chat? Fu got introduced to, uh, to glue. She was not too pleased. Just, I, I love animals. I'm an animal person. I love all pets, big or small. Just because something's an animal does not mean I have to like it. I don't like horses by default, especially a horse is like a pony. For $3,000, I'll be a horse girl, but not for anything less. If I was better at my shots, I would... I am not good at Ridley shots. There we go. All right, Mr. Riddles. Let's go. There is no way in hell I'm gonna get this done in only 39 supers. It will never happen. I am not that accurate.
Alright, let's see if I, how it works. Oh! I did do it with 40 super missiles. I'm good. There's my hammer! Alright, the, the game is unlocked. We're gonna do the Ridley escape, then I'm gonna go celebrate by getting some food. Yes. Yes, he did. So, chat, what do you think of my Sailor Mercury cosplay? Anyone a fan? I can't believe my outfit three is Sailor Mercury. No, that's randomized. Shinobu Fujiko. Happens to be another VTuber. It turns out a lot of people who watch my stream are either VTubers or became VTubers. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it, but I think I should feel pride. I've converted so many people to the world of VTubing. Sorry, Swagnut. Once we get to Link to the Past, it's food time. Break time. I haven't taken a break in four hours. This is not OSHA approved. All right, break time. BRB, don't go anywhere. Sorry, sorry.
Wow. I've got some coconut milk mint ice cream. This isn't, this is like my little dessert. It's lactose free. No dairy. It's pretty delicious. Also, new. I'm so fast. I'll be enjoying some of this while I uh, go do all of the other stuff. This is technically not ice cream. It's like an iced dessert. All right, we're four and a half hours in, but we can go over here. Yay. So you may see me stop every once in a while just to get some ice cream. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid using too many dishes until Saturday and I can get all this water out of here. I should take a picture of a spoon after it's gone through the dishwasher. You can see how bad it is. <laughs> it's bad. If you saw the spoon in a restaurant, you probably would give it back and say, hey, my silverware's not clean. Yeah, I, I can show the picture to the water department or they say, you don't need to use a filter. Our water is perfectly drinkable. It may be drinkable. It is drinkable. I'm fine drinking it. But look at this. <laughs> don't get mad at me for trying to fix the problem. Brenstar boss. That is Super Metroid Nova. Dragon Samurai. Watch this need Bombos. We're good on medallions. Okay, it's everybody's favorite time. Ooh, 
Tempered Sword. My rhythm feels off. Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, drugs. So. No! What happened? I, I actually released too early, really? I had it. Hera, worth. This is where the audience claps. I saw her hover, so she uh, so we clap. See, the problem is since I'm so good at it, it no longer becomes impressive. It's like just the expectation that man's gonna be a god. Hover trick work. Um, you have to press and release the A button for exactly one frame. So it's like you're holding the A button. You don't hold it like longer than 20 frames or something like that while you're charging up the dash. Here, 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 I could actually show you the exact one. So yeah, as soon as I start, it's like, yeah, from when I started dash to when I dash, so what is that, like a third of a second? Maybe half a second there? Okay. So you have to, like, repeatedly, before you dash, so you have a little bit of time, you have to release the A button for exactly one frame and then repress it. So that's why you look like this. So I'm repeatedly releasing the A button for exactly one frame. So exactly one sixtieth of a second. So it's a very precise rhythm game. So you need to do that over and over, and then like for every frame that you that you release, you move forward a tiny, tiny bit, it just looks like. So if I'm not holding left, you'll see it kind of stutters. That's because every single frame I'm holding left, as soon as I release it, that, that's a little stutter animation. So I move just one pixel up. So to cross a gap like this, I think they're what, 32 pixels wide? So, so I need to press and release the A button for exactly one frame 64 times to cross this gap right here. 
without missing once. If you miss, if you release it for two frames, you're done. You fall. The game does not check if you are over a pit until frame two. Frame one, you're clear. So that's why hovering works. You're just moving one frame at a time. But yeah, so you can see like having to repeatedly over like several seconds keep landing that many perfect inputs, it's hard. It, it, it takes technique. <laughs> it takes a lot of technique. The longest gap I've hovered, well, in actual races and not like by repetitively pausing, is the Misery Meyer gap. From chest one to the Bosky area. Which I think is like 12 tiles, 14 tiles. It's a lot of tiles. I actually don't know the exact amount. Yeah, if you take damage while fake flippering, it soft locks the game on vanilla. In randomizer, it is patched, so you just die. That way, you don't just have to destroy your game by fake flippering. Basically, mercy kills you. You want to see my favorite trick? Is the mimic Michael Jackson trick. That's my. That's probably my sing one of my favorite tricks. In fact, I'll, I'll call it my favorite trick. The moonwalking mimic. I will demonstrate. You do not know what that is. I do it all the time. <laughs> so if you watch me play so you've probably seen me do this. Because the problem is these red ones are only killable with the bow. Uh, the way the game checks if you've cleared a room is it detects, are there any enemies on screen? If not, this is also a frame perfect trick. You have to press the right button. You have to like hold D right for a frame, and then like off for a frame, and then D pad up for a frame over and over again, and it clips into the wall. And the game's like, "There's no enemies here. You're good." It's very funny. Yeah, so that's, so that's another one where all those inputs are frame perfect. But there is technique. I learned from Yagama uh, to do it like human not task. He'll open the door in this dungeon. Thank you. I 
I did a whole thing on Foo's hotfix show going over Link to the Past and glitches. And I'm very proud of uh, how I did it. <laughs> Uses the old Fant 2.0 model. But... Still, uh, very much. My, my voice may sound a little bit weird. I had I had presentation slides and everything. I came prepared. I found explaining anything related to coding you need to provide visual aids, no matter what. You have to have visual aids. Luckily, a lot of programming stuff can be explained by, like... Blocks on a grid. Because, <laughs> because memory, it, it's just a grid. It's just a grid. It's just an Excel spreadsheet with a whole bunch of squares. That's all memory is. Fun of PowerPoint. PowerPoint is one of the most useless people or useful pieces of software ever created. when you have hexadecimal addresses and all that stuff. You can you can explain it just like X and Y. Like, here's your X coordinate, here's your Y coordinate memory, you know, you're just looking at this, and here's how offsets happen. It's just, it's just like looking at a spreadsheet. It makes it so much easier. I would say 60% of my main job is PowerPoint. I, I kid you not. I'm not making this up. I got 150 of sl slides I need to go present next week. Alright, we are hookshot from Gobo.
<laughs> I got destroyed by the sword beams. Sword beams do tier one sword damage, so it's not good. See that one? It's getting hit by the sword beam, so it doesn't die. <laughs> sword beam is like so bad in a lot of cases. Okay, where to next? So I need hook shots and the Eastern Palace big heat in go mode here. Oh yeah, I already did. Okay, it's icebreaker time.
a map to Brinstar. The end is in sight. Just need two more items in this gosh for second. know that although I thought both of these moved I guess not today I learned if you think this is going to be actually worthwhile or useless. It can only be two things that are actually nice. Most likely it's worthless, but you never know. We're going to go turn it in immediately. At least one person is paying attention. Let's go. How's the grapple beam? No, that is not useful. Spooky action may also be my favorite glitch. Simply because I'm a big fan of the name. Spooky action's a good name for a glitch. Try this once. I also want to count the tiles. See, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, I guess it's only a seven tile gap. One more time. One, one, one more time. Only like 200 frame perfect inputs. Let's go. That actually saves time over going the long way, believe it or not. Alright, 
Time to see if spooky action works. Guess I messed it up. Yep. Falling in a pit mess it up. Oh no, I had it. I, I just missed. Oh hey, we get to see the Moki. Come go. Such a big improvement. Begs the question. Where's the shrine? Dungeon one's done. Dungeon two, I can't do. I could go into dungeon two without the hookshot. I think that's where we're at. There's like three items left in Super Metroid. There's no way in hell the hookshot's in Super Metroid. There's nothing but trash in Super Metroid. It's probably a vanilla hookshot. Let's go. I didn't want to do this. All signs are pointing to Hookshot and Swamp House. French vanilla Hookshot, or maybe even, have a bit, a vanilla Hookshot. Vanilla Hookshot, I think, is the worst vanilla item. Even worse than, like, Vanilla Hammer. I guess King can be pretty bad if you're not playing Key Sanity, but in Key Sanity, Vanilla King is not the worst. There's the big key to Eastern. So that could be progression. I'll, I'll accept if it's in Eastern, it counts as being in Swamp. <laughs> it's locked by Swamp. I must have like 5,000 missiles at this point. They keep on coming. So basically like, how useless missiles are in Super Metroid, and how many of them there are. They're like, we want to have 100 items for 100%. Just fill it up with trash. <laughs> give, give them 100 missile packs. I think 255 missiles is the max, so I think it is 51 missile packs. Over half the items in Super Metroid are missile packs. It is quite ridiculous. Thanks for the arrows. I don't want them. I don't want them. Not one bit. All right, there are two more items I can get in Swamp Palace. There are two items in Eastern Palace. And if nothing is in one of these four spots, I will capitulate and go kill Craig. 32 power bomb <laughs> tanks. 
Yeah, unfortunately, with the Metroid series, there's the one ammo that is actually important. That there is not enough of. Like in Metroid Prime, power bombs. There's, there are never enough power bombs in, in Metroid Prime. Super Metroid is regular missiles, or super- wait. I would say it's also probably power bombs in Super Metroid, but really more in a randomizer sense. I would say in vanilla game it's probably super missiles. Are too rare. I love the falling animation. It's so good. In Zelda games, I feel like I'm always low on bombs. Well, in more recent than older games, I'm more going on bombs. And there's always too many rupees. It's like the rupee chests are always worthless. Hold on. All right, to Eastern Palace. I'm not looking forward to having to come back here again. You know what? Before I go over there, let's go do Pyramid Fairy. I forgot I had five and six. I can also get the pyramid item and catfish and king's or and uh actually no just just these two. Well, we got some E. Ha ha ha, faster than a speeding arrow. It is I, Max. I'm so fast. God damn it, gamer session. This is 
in case it's the Thieves' Town spot. He would have been helpful, but not really. How are you doing, Gamer Sensei? Nearing the end of the seed, nearing the end of the stream as well. <laughs> Missing the hook shot, which I do require for spawn. Like, there's just no way around it. I have to have the hookshot. Even having to bypass the dungeon, the boss still needs the hookshot. So that's why the game is placing it right here. Try to will it into existence. Try to be a witch for a second. You can't win them all. You can't be awesome, like, all the time. Only most of the time. I want to see Haya. Just watch this. Ooh! Ooh! Red ship key card! I can finally get those three items. Walked by Swamp Palace, by the way. Alright, we're gonna go do Crave. Don't twist my arm, game. I'm gonna go do it. This is made by Shino. It's me! Also, Gamer Senshi, have you seen the Super Metroid? It also means... Very lucky to have the community idea.
I could be. I could be. <laughs> I still need the hook shot, I think. Do I know if Swamp Palace is the dungeon? I need to go check. I got all the Super Metroid bosses. I'm gonna go over there and check. I'm gonna say a swamp palace is uh, what I need. I confirm. Yep. Well, I need to do to use town anyway, so I might as well just go. Then. I'll go clear Ganon's tower. It's it's all on this hook shot. It could be like anywhere. It could be in any of the remaining places. Except I don't, I don't think it can actually be in the back. No, it could be in the back. I don't know what's actually hook shot locked in. There is, a, there is at least a couple of things. Like anyway, hopefully we just find it beforehand, and I don't have to even think about going into Ganon's Tower. Because fast can't shut me off. It's not a bad. Look how fast I am! That's max E. The only reason I don't have like max hearts is because I have skipped some hearts. <laughs> I keep getting that bomb pickup out of habit. More than I would ever need. That's what happened. 
did some bullet hell dodging right there. Super time. All right, we killed Crane. I think I gotta be running out of Super Metroid pickups at this point, holy crap. Red mail. Ooh, this is a new color. I like it. I like this color. <laughs> Just cause why not? Why not at this point? I will never die. Let's go do Turtle Rock. Turtle Rock's required. God, I still have so much to do. I didn't even realize. Amazing hookshot is my go mode. That is rare. It's happened to me once, though it was in a race. And thankfully, I didn't actually need it. It was only needed to cross Smoldorm. So I hovered and beat my opponent. It's like, yes, all this time destroying my fingers. It was all worth it. I always loved how you can see all the trees down there. I, I love that parallax. It's a very pretty parallax. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I can't go this way. Hang on. Take a U-turn. Give me the hooker. Not that kind of hook shot. I, 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 God. Thankfully, my entire chat is asleep, so I'm kind of talking to myself, but people are still lurking. I don't want them to think I'm weird. Where are all the white women at? just occurred to me, I think I have all the pendants. Type one if I go pull the pedestal. I'll blind pull it. I'll go pull it after this, even if I find the hook shot in here. We'll do a secondary guess once I'm on my way over of what is it I'm going to be on the post. Statistically, it's probably a missile pack. One in six items in SMZ3 is a misback. Forty-nine silver arrows. The entire I can destroy the entire planet with these. Not just Hyrule. <laughs> High Valley. Just, um... Just pull on the pedestal? I didn't think it was going to be that important, but I'm, I'm going to go do it. I will. Thank you. 
That's cool. I guess now it's um not really too important <laughs> to go pull the pedestal. I'll still do it if you want. I, I feel like it's gonna lose its luster if it can't possibly be the hook shot. Yeah, the thrill is gone. You need that hint that it could be something on fire. Alright, we need to do a bot test on Valerie from YouTube. Panettiere, are you ready with the hammer? Alright, Valerie, give me a human sentence. That isn't gibberish. If you can't do that, you will be banned. We'll give him three minutes to accomplish this difficult task. You just did go strike. You just, you just typed a, a sentence. Pants here, be on the ready. That is key you a um a, a human sentence? I don't think so. I'll say this is not looking good for this this random YouTube bot. I don't think they're gonna make it. You know what we can do? If the next message is also gibberish, just just throw the hammer down. They seem to be based off of regular intervals. Like one every minute. But either way, in 60 seconds they are gone. I have tried to give the bot the robot a chance. Unfortunately. Too nice, even to the unhuman. Yeah, by dual stream on YouTube. Because I can. My YouTube audience is very small. Like, two to three viewers. But it's still there. So I like having that option. We got a high with a colon three. I'm not sure if that counts. That that's I'm gonna need a little bit more. What day of the week is it? And what country are you from? You may be getting somewhere. It's like I'm communicating with a, an alien life form. Oh, my God. 
Twitch chat, you're fine. I, I trust you. The YouTube. YouTube scenario. We've been in go mode. Now we're in ultra go mode. Let me see if I have to actually do Ganon's tower. I hope not. Okay, they may be human. Maybe. They did answer my question. Okay, here's the next question. Why were you typing gibberish? If you can answer that question, I won't ban you. No! Off to Ganon's Tower. Uh, no, my flesh is composed of you know, humans throughout the last thousand years. That tasted the best. Gibberish because fun. Okay. They they may pass for now, but try not to just type complete gibberish, Valerie. <laughs> I would appreciate that. I'm trying to remember which one of these is this one? Oh shit. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I'm just used to bots as a low viewership on on YouTube. Leaf pile, I just got raided by a leaf. Hello everybody. <laughs> What were you all up to? Well, it's Super Metroid, if you can believe it. It's it's multiple games at once. Hello, Sunny Man. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, sorry, I'm in I'm in the middle of trying to cheat. Um, so bear with me. I think it's here. There it is. Found it. Okay, we're synced up. Uh oh. 
Oh no! I was so close. But I messed it up again. <laughs> oh, what the hell should I just do? Oh, uh, well, I soft locks. Because <laughs> I can't remember. I, it's been a while. My, I'm trying to get into Ganon's Tower. Uh, and that involves a screen wrap uh, to desync Link's position and wrap him up to the top of Death Mountain without actually moving the camera up Death Mountain, which allows me to... Well, first of all, I have to clip through a ledge using spin speed. So you do a spin dash or a spin and then release it for a frame and then press dash and you're in this weird state and you can go through walls. Um, so I do that in a specific spot to jump off the bottom of the screen and it wraps me around to the top of the screen, which I'll demonstrate. Um, and then I'm basically navigating via the textures of where I should be uh, in order to um, activate the warp. So watch, you'll see, let me pull the map. See, I'm right now, I'm down here. See, I'm, that, that's where I'm at. <laughs> see where I'm pointing, that's, that, that's me, okay? Um, So if I jump off the edge, now I pause it. Look, I'm down here, but I'm not down here. In reality, I'm at the top of the screen, but the game thinks I'm down there. So we kind of like desync those positions. So I'm trying to hit the warp that's directly above the screen. Yeah, I, I think I got stuck again. Wait. Oh wait, this is Tower of Hera, god damn it. I think I could still do this um, just by warping here and going down maybe. I'm not sure if it actually works this way. I think it does. I was trying to just avoid doing the warp. I'm gonna get this. Yo, thank you so much. Synced up. Now let me look at the map. Look, now I'm at the pyramid. <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, I think I remember. I need to be up here. I need a hook shot. No! I almost had it. I, I just looked the wrong way. I needed to look right and not left. That was it. Let me see if I can still get out of here. Oh, it's gonna warp me like this. Okay, 
this time for sure. This is gonna be it. I promise, Raiders, this is gonna be cool when it works. <laughs> I promise. Thank you. Maple Winters, how the, how the heck did you find this stream? Of all streams. How did you find this one? Sunny day? <laughs> so I was like, hey, this person's cool. I mean, I am very cool, but... It'd be cooler if I did this first try and I blew everybody's mind instead of looking like a fool and doing it... like this. <laughs> It's okay, this time for sure. It's gonna work. There it is! Welcome everybody to Ganon's Tower. <laughs> it took us a little bit longer than expected, but we are here. First try. I should have gotten that fairy. say the people in my chat are likely much better people than me. <laughs> what? I have, I actually got hit by that? Are you kidding me? Yes. So I thank you for the 14 months. There are foolishens here, so I need to make sure I don't actually fall down the pit. In case I do that damage. Please. 
just for fun, what do we got here? E. Instead of saving time, now I look like an idiot. And now, I am nervous. I get performance anxiety. I'm so scared. It's like I gotta do it now to save face. First, I couldn't get into Ganon's tower, then now I can't hover the stupid gap. I want you to know, I did hu do the Meyer hover, the same seed. So, uh, <laughs> this this was the hardest hover in the game because Moldorm is there and scares me and messes up my rhythm. I'm doing this. The Meyer, wait. What is that even? <laughs> I'm sorry, please don't hate me. Please don't hate me for not being able to do that. what I said I was gonna do. Whoop. You get out of here. No, you, you get out of here. <laughs> Is it now? I am a bad masher. I always lose at those Mario Party games. All right, I think I need to change my grip here. That's it right there. That that works. Okay, first try. Yeah. Hovering is all technique. And it's not a difficult, it's, it's, the, the principle is not hard. Getting it consistent is incredibly hard. <laughs> um, it's, it's not easy to keep that steady rhythm with the stress of Boldorm right there. And I'll proceed to go like eight cycle this boss. Cause I'd never learned geometry.
I'm amazed how many blue balls I'm getting. Damn it. Bad Ganon, <laughs> but whatever. We made it. The Metroid clip in my hair still makes me so happy that it's in this sprite. <laughs> Even if it's a red dot with a little bit of green, it's like. All right, G number one. Let's go get G number two. I still don't know if I have to save there. All right, chat, it's sellout time. Do you want to save the animals or kill the animals? My default will be to kill the animals. You can do bits and tears and stuff. To, to vote. A sub is 250 points, a bid is one point, a tip is whatever it is. Value. So there you go. That's my sell out of the day. So you want to save? You gotta, you gotta give me something. I'll taunt the animals for... Actually, I don't even know how to taunt the animals. Is that where you go when you open the door and then you leave? But you don't go through the door. I don't think you can go through the door, because once you go through the door, you're committed to saving them. Is that the baby? Wait, I never found... I never found Charge Me, did I? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna farm up some missiles here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Forty-three supers, that should be good. A baby. I'm so excited to see the baby. I'm gonna try just once doing Zeb Skip. I haven't done it in a long time. I'm gonna save in case I bungle the missiles. Over here. Yeah. I'm not getting the, the down back. Yeah, it's like that. I think I need to hold down first and then slide, is what it is. Yeah, like that. That's close. That's close to it. We'll give it one more shot. Then we'll just go spend our missiles. Why am I doing a double jump? Okay, whatever. The, oh, the quad game? I have never played Zelda. Well, I've never beat Zelda. Before. I've played it briefly. I think everybody I, I, who's had a game console has, like, dabbled in Zelda one or seen it.
Nope. I didn't... How did I... Does it really take more than 40 supers? I hit him with 40 supers. How many supers does it take? 60? I need to go get some more. I could have sworn 40 supers takes him out. All right, let's go uh, get our super missiles. Yeah, I'm guessing it's 60 supers to take them out. Yeah, I, I connected with at least 42 of those supers. Can someone give me a health check on frickin' Mother Brain? <laughs> I'm worried. I don't, I don't think I can get out of here. I may have just lost the game in the final minutes. Chat, I'm pecked. It's 60 supers. Yeah, I'm pecked. There's no way for me to farm ammo, is there? I can't get out of here because I saved there. Cause these the donuts don't drop anything. So if I dump let's see, if I dump forty-three supers, that means I need sixty missiles. Do I think I may need to do Zeb skip to win. <laughs> I think I actually have to Zeb skip to win. Let's see. So I have, I'm going to have 43, so I need 17 super missiles worth of missiles. So that's 17 times 3, so that's 30. I need 51 regular missiles left. And that should theoretically work. Time to get good. <laughs> Okay, 
I hit every single super. Yes! Beam me, bitch! Just recheck, we're at 77 plus points. Got 23 to go. That must be those tier threes. Okay, I think I think we're gonna do it, Chad. I, I am like 99% sure I'm gonna cross 100, <laughs> even with the, the work trip. Heck yeah, mother brain. Get back, demon. As I get bits and subs, we're killing the animals. Well, we're saving one animal, this animal. Screw attack on. <laughs> I forgot I turned that off for Zeb skip. Oh, I don't have. Ch Wait, no, I, I should be able to moonfall here. Why am I. I'm not sure what's causing me to do the, the jump, the auto jump. Anytime I try to do ledge grabs, it works out poorly. Goodbye, animals. Oh, 
GG! Mission was completed success. We will never not be done. everybody it's been a long day i got one more stream this week before the work trip so i'm sad i'm gonna be missing so much stream one death i forget where i where did i die like Five hours and 30 minutes. Ew. Also, why is the end cut off? What's going on here? There's a problem afoot. Or is there? Hang on. Is my whole capture off? Has it been off this whole time? No way, right? Has the bottom of the screen been cut off? No, that looks fine. What? Yeah, all of this looks fine. Is it just the, has it always been cut off there? Anyway. <laughs> we just don't like the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody likes the end of my stream. Anyway, thank